Hi guys, my name is Dimitri Rabinides, owner of Epic Kites, and today's video is going to be on how to relaunch your foil kite in very light condition, especially if your foil kite is inside out with the bridles inside and you cannot relaunch it, especially in light wind and it just gets stuck in the water. Okay, so I just made it home. It was a long swim, but I finally was able to relaunch my kite in such light wind. And um, the way I did this is uh, I saw some of my friends, um, Enrico and Guido, they're friends of mine, uh, they do a race a lot. They have a lot of experience and we're talking about four kites, okay? So they do race a lot and I've learned a lot from them and also Maxime Noche. So, uh, but one day I was just like uh, kiting and one of the Italian guys fell in the water. His kite just like fell out of the water, out of the sky in the water and couldn't relaunch, especially in light wind. So there's no, you know, power to relaunch that kite. And these four kites, uh, you know, you need to relaunch them really fast because if they stay in the water more than like a minute, a minute and a half, uh, it, they, they do get water in it and then they get heavy and all that. So you want to relaunch the kite. So I was touring around, making sure everything's safe. And I saw him doing this, this way of relaunching the kite. I was like, what in the world is he doing? No, there's no way. There's no way he's going to relaunch it. And then he did it. It took him maybe like 10 minutes, but he did it. So I'm like, man, I need to try this. So I tried it and it worked. And that's why I want to share this with you. Okay. So again, uh, we're talking about four kites, you know, uh, especially uh, race kites and all that, but it's four kites with bridles. Okay. So uh, now let's say you're kiting and you do something stupid or whatever, or there's not much uh, wind and you try to uh, tack or jive and then suddenly you're, um, or the wind dies, then suddenly your uh, four kite falls out of the air and just you know dangle all that, and then falls in the water, and then the bridle is inside out, uh, grabs the thing and start 360 and falls in the water, and then it's dead now. So now you cannot relaunch it because you don't have enough wind to put uh, power in the uh, in your four kite. So trying to relaunch and get some air in it and all that, there's no way. Okay, so what you need to do is. Uh, once your kite is in the water and there's no way to relaunch it, it's stuck because the bridles are inside out and it's keeping the kite, your full kite in the water. So what you do is uh, take your board, okay? Uh, you use your board as your anchor, then remove your bar from your harness, okay, from your hook. And then uh, you have a few ways of it. If you're using a bar with a chicken loop, okay, you can remove the chicken loop and put it uh, on the back of the foot strap, okay, hook it, or just remove your leash, okay, and attach your chicken loop with the leash inside your foot straps, okay, uh, through your, um, uh, your loop, and then you hook it, just with the leash, okay, uh, or if you have a bar that doesn't have a chicken loop but has a ring, same thing, take the, your leash, safety leash, put it around the foot strap, back foot strap, okay, and uh, just hook it. The reason I'm saying the back foot strap is like, because once you put that, and you let the board go and you swim because you're gonna have to swim towards your kite. Okay, like, no, that's crazy. No, it's actually good because once you attach your harness, the bar, I'm sorry, once you attach your, your bar into on the back of the board, it will create like an anchor. So when the, the kite is kind of moving, floating around, it's pulling your board. So the board is going backwards and then it's dragging into the water. So then it puts anchor and then stays there. So there's there's a resistance on the kite, okay? So once you did this and it's safe, your bar is stuck on the back foot strap, you know, wrapped or hooked in or whatever, then swim towards the kite. You swim towards the kite. Once you arrive on your kite, just take it and start opening your kite. Opening it, remove the bridles that are uh, around the, the kite and all that and open it. Open it so the kite can breathe, okay? So you just open it and all that and make sure you're gonna have bridles around. So make sure that they're not stuck in your harness, okay? And usually what I do is sometimes also is I unhook my harness and put my harness around so I don't have that hook in front so the bridles gets in, okay? But it's all up to you. In this video, I did not remove my harness because I knew the bridles were pretty far away from me and it was you know easier to do it so you take the kite shake it open it you know so it can breathe so open it open it open it each side and then swim back to your board and you see your board will still be there with the kite because it's it's like anchored okay then once you arrive there remove uh, the uh, chicken loop or whatever from the leash from the foot strap put it back in hook in and then now your kite is open so then pull the middle line 
okay? So the kite can come up. And by doing that, it's breathing already, okay? So hopefully there's not much water in it. Even if there was water in it, you can, while you were swimming, you could have lifted, okay? So then pull the middle line, and then your kite will come up easy, and then the water will drain. So that's the way you do it.